I'm trying to film a video and all I can see is this guy behind the window. <laughs> Hello, it's been a while, but today I thought that I'd do a video on my application process and assessment centre at Gowling WLG. So just a disclaimer that not all firms assess their candidates in the same way. So this is just my experience of applying to one law firm. So in 2019, the application process at Gowling consisted of four stages. The first one was the application form. I then had to do a game-based assessment, which created a target fit profile to see if I was suitable for a role at Gowling. Then I had to do a video interview, which consisted of some scenario-based questions and now I'm here, ready to do the final stage of the application process, which is the assessment centre. Hi. So when I said that I was going to be recording stuff at the assessment centre, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't really want to be sat on my phone while we were being assessed all day. I didn't want it to look like I was bored. So I thought that maybe now I would just explain what I did during the day and also give you some hints and tips as to what I wish that I knew before I went into the assessment centre. So the day consisted of two activities. We had an individual assessment and then we also had a group assessment. So the independent activity was essentially a day in the life of a trainee. So what I'm assuming from this activity is that it was about prioritising time management and organisation as we only had an hour to complete all of the tasks. It was quite challenging, but I did really enjoy the aspect of being technically a trainee, even if it was just for an hour. <laughs> so the group meeting was an activity where we had to discuss some questions that were given to us and the assessors were sat in the room observing our conversation. It was quite a weird situation situation to be in because absolutely everything that you were saying was being observed. Anytime any one of us opened our mouths, the assessors would be like... So going off the point that I made earlier about not being on my phone, my first tip would be to leave your phone in your bag. You really don't need it during your time at the assessment centre and you don't want the assessors to think that you're bored, distracted or disinterested in what's going on around you. My second tip is related to the individual assessment. If you are handed any work, ensure that you're able to prioritise and time manage your workload to ensure that everything is completed and handed in before the deadline. For example, if a partner emails you an urgent task that needs to be completed in the next 20 minutes, you may want to reconsider your time and your priorities. The next couple of tips will be related to the group assessment. So my third tip would be that if you're placed in any kind of group work, do not dominate the conversation. Firms want someone who is able to actively listen, contribute and communicate their ideas without coming across as aggressive and confrontational. Especially as well, do not talk over people as this can also be seen as quite negative. My next tip is to take the lead, but again, do not dominate the conversation. The firm is looking for someone who is able to be responsible and confident, therefore having aspects of leadership. So for example, you could offer to keep time or speak first to suggest the way that the conversation should be directed or summarise all of the points at the end of the meeting. Including others is also another important tip, as you may have someone at your assessment centre who is a bit quiet, so it's a good characteristic to ask them questions, ask them for their opinions, and also involve them in the discussion. This marks you out as a leader and a team player, and it also hints that you're able to effectively manage the dynamics of a group. Every law firm is looking for someone who is commercially aware, so for my assessment centre, I did some research into some recent regulations and legislation that helped support some of my suggestions and arguments during the group meeting. For example, the General Data Protection Regulations, or GDPR, is one of the most important regulations to have passed on privacy and sharing information in the past 20 years. Do some more research into the firm. Obviously, you like the firm enough to want to work there and have been successful in all of the previous stages of the application process, but it is also worth knowing about the resources the firm may already have in place and also their main objectives and values. So, for example, diversity and inclusion is one of Gowling's main values and I use this information to my advantage during the group meeting. So my final tip is to just be yourself. Well, actually, this tip is from my mum, as it's the last thing she said to me on the phone before I went into my assessment centre. <laughs> but the firm is not just looking for someone with the qualities of a solicitor, but they're also looking for someone who will fit in well with their firm. So finally, I received a call back from Gowling on Friday saying that I'd been accepted onto their vacation scheme. Yay! 
I'm so excited that I've been given the opportunity to work in an international law firm and I'm sure I'll be back with another video about my time during my vacation skiing. So good luck with all of your future applications. I hope that these tips have been helpful if you manage to get to an assessment centre. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below and I'll answer them as soon as I can and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye! In digit. Oh my god. Range of tasks. Tasks? <laughs> again. 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 Stop clicking the pen. All I'm doing is this. It's like a nervous touch. <laughs>